Is this everyone? Earl is taking Richard and Miranda to the airport. He's probably stuck in traffic. We don't have to worry about him at all. What about all the guys from the warehouse? I represent the warehouse. What's your name again? All right, well, I'm sure you're probably all wondering why I called this meeting. So let me start it off with this. I have a dream. We have a dream. A dream about these. The tiny little swords that you put in your drink. What about them? Let me start with a story. I assume all of you have read the Bible. Really? None of you have read the Bible? I've read the Poisonwood Bible. Oh, is that any good? It's great. It's about this tree. Well, before we digress any further uh, in the actual Bible, there is a story about a man. His name was King David. Oh, like David and Goliath. Yes, Bradley, that's exactly right. Same David. You're a smart guy. All right, so David was king of all Israel, and one day he was walking around Jerusalem to check out his city, and then he saw something. Bathsheba. Bath what? Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah, taking a bath on the roof of her house. Nice. That have been good for the house. Well, that's not really the no, point. No, no, no. Like, weren't houses made of clay and wood back then? Not the point, Tom. I'm just saying okay, clay, fine. Look, wood. For the sake of the argument, let's say she was tanning in the nude. Awesome. So, King David is walking around Israel, sees Bathsheba, tanning in the nude, and then do you know what happened? He lusted after her. And then he took her. He stole Bathsheba from her husband, Uriah. Does any of this sound familiar? Okay, you don't get it. Uh, Richard is David, Bathsheba was my idea, and I'm... God. Whoa, look, okay? I just want what's owed. We. And you all deserve a real leader. Look, someone who cares about you. Cares about your needs, your, your livelihoods, your lives. Look, not someone who gives you hope and then takes it away at the last moment. Not someone who creates fear and then toys with your emotions. Not someone who cares more about their image than about their own employees. Look, we may make tiny umbrellas, but that doesn't mean that you deserve tiny leadership. I believe you deserve more. Tom deserves more. Karen deserves more. The warehouse deserves more. And you, Bradley, you deserve more. I'm with you all the way, boss. Excellent. You? Well, I'm gonna have to talk it over with the guys first. Maybe over drinks. Give us the receipt, we'll reimburse you. Perfect. Karen. Your revenge is not my problem, Henry. Karen, if you stay, you are standing up for every corrupt thing that Richard believes in. Look, we need you. Tom and I need you. And we'll treat you way better than he ever would. I know, but... You want a vacation? I'll give you 10 days a year. You want a raise? Name your price. <laughs> Don't try to play me, Henry. I'll think about it, and I'll get back to you. Well, she'll come around. Tom, let's go. Gentlemen, it's a good day. So anyway, the poison would work. I am so angry. I told them two doubles, not one king. Ah, I'll just have to sleep on this couch. I am sorry, Miranda. Oh, I guess we're all right then. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. 